What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. It is your boy Mouse. And if you've been watching the channel, man, you already know what time it is with the Silverado build, man. You know that thing's got 412 Sundown subs in it, East series with 5,000 watts uh, tear amps on it, mids and highs all in the back of the bed, and that thing is jamming. I've been saving to do this video so I can show you guys the budget, cheapest, best way I feel to get sound from your factory radio into your amps to power up your whole system no matter if you're doing 210s, 110, 212s, 412s, um, etc, etc, man. There's a cheap way that you could do it and I feel that it works the best. I've been doing it for years and I'm going to go ahead and show you. But before you get started, man, if you want your sound system to be loud when you hook it up, man, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like, and drop some comments, man, because here, with this Silverado build, it proves you can do car audio at, in your front yard, in your backyard, and still make it look badass and sound really loud. And listen, this is living proof of the information I'm getting ready to give you guys on how to really get sound to your amps without having to drop the big cash on all the big uh, line converters and everything else, man. This is a big top secret and it's very helpful too. You guys may think it's crazy, but listen, this thing shut down so many cars, trucks, any like all kinds of builds that when we were out there in Orlando this past weekend, you know, jamming hard, all off of this guy. Yes, the Skosh, I think that's how I pronounce it, Walmart um, inline converter from Walmart, man. This thing's probably like 26 bucks. This is what gets sound from my factory radio into all my amps. There, there are many reasons why I like this guy right here, man. I've been using these things for years and I feel e each year they always improve the design, the output, and how good they actually work, man. It has your RCA outs, it has a remote out, you have to put constant power, ground, and then you have your um, speaker uh, outputs or inputs that you have to put into it to get sound to produce. So you have to put inputs to have outs. And it comes with a level control knob, which, you know, most people connect these up so they can have an extra uh, subwoofer in their car. But this knob works for like mids and highs and, you know, or whatever you want to do. And you can pick these up at your local Walmarts or I even like discount auto parts and stuff like that, man. Very cheap and they very work really good. And listen, my truck is living proof of it because this thing bangs, guys. You guys would never think that I'd have this guy in here powering up, you know, my whole system. You'd think I have an audio control piece with uh, the LC1 or whatever it's called to work in there. But no, man, we have this guy. Mine's actually right here on the top. Uh, right speaker. Okay, so let me give you a quick rundown on how I got this guy connected. So basically My door speaker it plays more of a lower frequency like bass wise uh, And the top uh, speakers on my dash they play more of a higher range and I want like higher range because you know Obviously this goes into my EQ, but that's a whole nother story here We're just to talk about how I get sound from the truck. So basically I tap it. I disconnect my factory speaker and you see it has the grays and the whites. That's usually uh, for front speakers. So I basically tied the, the both of the negatives and both of the positives together. And then I found out which one's my positive side and which one's my negative side on my factory speaker um, terminal. So I go ahead and I tap into that signal because that, that signal getting played uh, that sound going into that speaker to make it sound you know what i'm saying so i need that sound so i can go ahead and put it into my amps to play sound going out so i go ahead and i connect both of those speaker wires together then i run a power and ground which is the yellow and black and you know that powers up the the inline converter okay what's really cool about these things it, it has like sensing you know remote sensing so once it senses that the speaker is playing or there's sound going to that it produces a remote you know what I'm saying and that's what that blue and white wire is for which I think is really awesome because on these trucks I forgot which one's the the pack piece that you have to put so you can get ignition to turn on stuff so this is what's really awesome about this one which I like it has a remote out well obviously since I got you know e like uh, EQs uh, crossovers and stuff like that I have to put a relay on it but that's a whole nother story but you know I like it because it produces you know remote wire at the same time so that's really awesome with it and like I said this guy powers up my EQ and then it goes out to the stuff in the back and you know it man I've been doing these things for years they've been working like like 
butter for me. You know, obviously the truck is beaten. If I never would have told you guys this thing's from Walmart, you guys never would have even noticed. I could even told you guys a lie that, hey, you know, I got the LC1 or whatever it's called inside my truck and it's making everything play. You know what I'm saying? But when I go ahead and I tell you that I got this guy right here, man, this thing is no joke. Like I'm telling you, this thing, like it is the best thing in the world. I, I feel... You know, for budgets, you know, we're it, obviously my truck's not a budget because I almost got like twelve, fifteen thousand dollars worth of equipment, labor, and time, and all that stuff. And then, you know, I could have easily bought that other piece, but like I said, this piece right here, it is the bomb. And for twenty six bucks, you can't go wrong. And I feel like electronics, if they're gonna take a dump, they're gonna take a dump. Whether you spend twenty six dollars on this piece or one hundred fifty bucks on another piece. The day you turn, you know, the truck on and you put 12 volts of it, the day that it wants to give out, it's going to give out, you know, and obviously if this gives us 26 bucks, I can just ride down the road, go pick one up, put it in and I'm back in business versus having to send the other guy out, having to wait for it to come in, blah, 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 yada, yada, you know, the quick fix is this guy, man, you know, like I said, man, believe in your boy, man, you know, this is, I, I mean, you can pick either or, but I, I'm always going to go this route, you know, drop the comments, let me know what you think man like i don't believe in all the products but this one it is really good and like i said this is a budget thing and for the budget man it is worth every single dollar even more if skosh was smart they'd sell these things for 100 bucks and maybe if the prices are higher people would you know, believe in them more but since they're 26 bucks some people don't believe in them and they feel like they're cheap just because they're at walmart but man listen my truck is the the living proof that this thing you know works works a few moments later Real quick, look at this thing. Look what the, the power wash did to my truck, man. Very, very upsetting, but it is what it is. Drop down in the comments, man. If Did did you guys think that I had an audio control piece powering up my factory radio, or did you guys never thought that I would have something like this in the truck? And this is in there. I'm not even playing around. I highly suggest if you guys have factory systems, man, just go out and give it a shot. It's 26 bucks. You know what I'm saying? It works. Man, it's jamming. We out jam so many people on a $26 piece, man. Maybe one day I'll go get an audio control piece just to see how different it is. But man, that thing jams. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't switch it out for nothing. You know, even if it breaks down on me, I won't switch it out. I'll just go buy another one. And you know what I'm saying? And even if I have a, like an Escalade and I go put a big system on it, I'm going to get that same exact piece because they've never let me down. The moment they let me down, then I'm going to switch over. But till then, man, I'm going to keep rocking those things. And I hope I don't get a lot of hate comments on this uh, video because of that. But man, you know, like... I'm here to, you know, provide information that I know works for me, that could work for you. Um, you know, everybody has their preference on products they like to use, and just like myself. And like I said, I feel like that product's never let me down, so I have no reason to turn my back on it. So, you know, go ahead and give it a shot, man. It's only 26 bucks. What could it cost you? You know what I'm saying? Try it out. Let me know what you guys think, man. And listen, like, I am here to provide information on car audio stuff that you can do at your house. You know what I'm saying? We built this whole truck with just regular tools here at the crib. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we do have a little bit better tools, but man, we're still at the house, man. We don't have the fancy router tables. We don't have all the fancy router bits and all the high-tech table saws and everything. Man, we just have normal tools, you know what I'm saying? We're a little bit of rust on them. So with that being said, man, this truck's jamming. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow, and actually it's your boy's birthday Friday. That's why I went ahead and I wanted to finish the sound system because it is my birthday. Uh, this is actually my gift to myself. And, you know, it's the best gift that, you know, a car audio guy like myself could get, man. So, man, Friday, I'll be dropping the vlog, the birthday vlog. Man, drop that, that early happy birthday and let me know what's good. Let me know what's in the comments. Give me the feedback, what you think on that line converter. And then we'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Because remember, we're still going to go jam this thing Black Friday. Crowd a bunch of people with Christmas music. And hopefully we don't get the truck towed or get arrested, man. But until then, we're going to keep jamming. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.